Hello everyone. Uh, I am Shahid, AAT certified accountant, and um, we are continuing from our last lecture that we uh, that we have about the income tax. And today in this lecture, we will cover the personal allowance if the income is more than one hundred thousand pound, and if someone has contributed in pension and charity, who it will affect to the. Uh, personal allowance and how we have to increase the basic rate band and the additional rate band. Uh, let's start. So here, um, restriction of personal allowance. If individual's um, income is more than uh, 100,000, so uh, so we have what we have to do is adjusted net income we have to calculate as our total income before personal allowances uh, we have to minus uh, any contribution into a pension. And remember, it is a graph. If it is net, we have to divide it by 80 and multiply by 100. So we will see the examples um, in our lecture, so it will be more clear. So if adjusted net income exceeds um, 100,000, um, then the personal loans is reduced by one pound for every two pound income over 100,000. So if adjusted um, net income is more than 125,000 pound, there is no personal allowance available. So um, let's see the example, charity. Yeah? So we will start from uh, charity. So let's see an example. Uh, Elite has a trading profit of 53,000. Uh, he paid 1,600 pound to charity under the gift aid scheme. So in your exam, you have to be careful. Um, if it is a gross, you don't have to do anything. But here, they did not mention it is net or gross, so it means it is net. So we have to convert into a gross. So the first thing is uh, we have to fill our table. So 53,000 pounds is a trading income. Yeah? So we will write it here under non-savings income. And the next thing is um, this 1,600 pound, because it is a net, we have to gross it up. So if you see here, uh, pay to charity is 1,600 pound. Yeah? So we have to gross it 1600 divided by 80 multiplied by 100. So it is equal to 2000 pounds. And our basic rate band uh, will increase due to uh, this contribution into a charity by elite. So 37,700 is the basic rate band plus 2000 pounds that we gross it up. So the basic rate band will be now 39,700. And the personal allowance will remain same because um, uh, it is the income is not more than 100,000. So the full personal loss will be there. So 53,000 minus 12,570. So the taxable income is 40,430. And, and um, elite is a um, uh, elite is a high rate, high rate. So um, 39,700, we have to apply a 20% rate. So the tax is 7,940 and the remaining 730, um, we have to apply a 40%. So the total tax payable is 8,232. And there is no um, savings income, no dividend income. So the total tax uh, payable to HMRC is 8,232. Let's see another example. Here, this example is different as compared to the previous example. The previous example, um, um, elite was a high earner, but no, this Thomas is an additional earner. So if in your exam, you, you have to be very careful when doing this question, you have to see if someone is a basic rate earner, high rate earner, or additional rate earner. So if it's an additional rate earner, we can see here 160,000 trading profit, we will write it here. And um, he paid 6,400 pounds to a charity under the gift aid scheme. So again, we need to uh, grass it up. 
So when we will brush it up, 6,400, so 6,400 pound divided by 80 and multiplied by 100, so it will be uh, 8,000 pound. Yeah? So what we have to do is, the first thing is, uh, we have to increase the uh, basic rate band. So basic rate band is 37,700 yeah, plus 8,000. So the basic rate band will be uh, 45,700. Yeah. Uh, the next thing is we have to increase the addition, uh, the uh, high rate band as well. The reason is, uh, Thomas is a high uh, an additional rate earner, so uh, we have to increase the this band as well. So high rate band starts from one hundred fifty thousand. So again one hundred fifty thousand plus eight thousand we have already calculated here. So the total will be one hundred and fifty eight thousand. The personal allowance. Um, the personal allowance uh, reason is. Um, uh, we have to find out the adjusted net income. So if we see 160,000, yeah, minus 8,000, yeah, so still it is 152,000, it is more than 125,000 pounds. So if the earning goes up to uh, from 125,000, there is no personal allowance available. So Thomas does not have any personal allowance available. So it's in the, yeah. So uh, no, we have to calculate now. And Thomas does not have any saving income. Thomas does not have any dividend income. So the basic rate band is forty five thousand seven hundred by twenty percent is nine thousand one hundred forty. And um, the next thing is uh, one the high rate one is one hundred fifty eight thousand. This band that we have calculated here. So 158 minus 160, so 112,300 uh, multiplied by 40%. So the remaining 2,000 pounds we multiply by 45%. So our total uh, band, if you can see this 160,000 is equal to 160,000. So the total tax payable is 54,960. If you see 45,700, the basic rate band we have used here. So 45,700 plus 112300 uh, is equal to 158,000. So the remaining 2,000 pound is an additional rate band. Uh, and the total tax payable to HMRC is 54,960. Okay, um, we have seen the examples of pension and now we will see the combined examples of uh, pension and charity. Uh, Medley has an employment income of 76,000 per annum and she made a contribution of 10,000 pounds into a personal pension and 500 pounds to a charity. So here we can clearly see Madeline, uh, Madeline is a high returner and well, because she contributed 10,000 pounds into a pension and 500 to a charity, we have to grass it up. So in your exam, you have to look if they have already written the word here grass, you don't need to grass it up. So 10,000 pounds plus 500 is 10,500. Yeah. So 10,500 uh, divided by 80 multiplied by 100, yeah? So is equal to 13,125. So you have to increase the basic rate band, 37,700 plus 13,125. So the total will be 50,825. Uh, we don't need to increase the additional rate, uh, the high rate band because Madeline is not a high rate band. And the personal allowance, we don't need to do anything because um, the one, um, because the, in, um, the adjusted net income is less than um, 100,000 pounds. So full personal allowance is available for Madeline. So 76,000 minus 12,570, Taxable income of non-saving is 63,430. 
So the first 50,825 from the 63,430, we need to tax at 20%. So this 50,825 comes from here because we increase the basic rate band due to contribution in pension and charity. And the remaining um, 63,430 minus 50,825, the remaining band we have to multiply by 40% and we will get this amount that we have to pay 15,207.2 HMRC. Uh, let's see one more example uh, with the pension and charity, but with a um, additional rate on you know, to make things more clear. It is a very complex example, and you can expect this uh, question in your exam. Um, uh, employment debbie. Employment income is 148,000, but paid already 51,700 pounds through PAYE. So we have to deduct this amount, 51,700, uh, from our total tax when we will calculate. Property income is 12,000, so we will write it here 12,000. And dividend income is 17,000, and saving income is 1,625 pounds. So the net income that we will get after adding all this one is 178625. And because again, it is more than, this net income is more than um, um, 125,000, but we have to find out the adjusted net income if in any case it goes below 125,500. So net income is this one and contribution into pension and gift aid is, um, 19,300, 17,000 plus 2,300 is 19,300 divided by 80 multiplied by 100 is 24,125. So the total adjusted net income is 154,500 as it is greater than 125,500, no personal loss is available. So in this case, because Debbie is a additional earner, and she contributed in pension and charity, we need to increase two bands. One band is a basic rate band and the other one is high rate band. So basic rate band, we band we will increase, it will be 61,825. And when we will increase the high rate band, it will be 174,125. Um, so now the uh, basic rate band is 6185. So 6185 here, yeah. We need to multiply by 20%. And the remaining uh, 100 uh, and the remaining 160,000 minus 61825 is 98175. We need to multiply by 40%. So the total tax payable for non-saving income is 51,635. Because Debbie is an additional earner, there is no uh, savings allowance available for her. Um, so the total 1625, that is the uh, savings income interest. So that one, because we have already used our 20% band, we cannot use 20%. Now we have to use this 40% band. So the total tax payable is 650. And there is a dividend as well, 17,000 pounds. So 2,000 pounds allowance is available, regardless um, of high rate earner or additional rate earner or basic rate earner. So um, the high rate band is 10,500. So why who it comes? So if we add 1,160,000 uh, plus 1,625 plus 2,000, so and uh, plus uh, 10,500, it is equal to 174,125. The, the remaining is 4,500. So if we see the total dividend is 17,000, so 17,000 minus 10,500 is 4,500. So we need to multiply by right, this amount. So these are the dividend bands. Dividend bands are always different from the income tax bands. So uh, the total payable is 57,599.50 and 
and they'll be already paid 51,700 through PAY. So the total tax payable to HMRC is 5,899 pound and 50 pence. Uh, now uh, we will see, uh, so this is the end of uh, our lecture, but before we go in, we will do one more example. And this one is the payment to the HMRC. So, um, when we submit the self-assessment, we have to submit. So we have to pay uh, to the HMRC, the payment and account payments. Let's see what we will pay and we will finish our lecture. Jenny is liable to make the following income tax after deduction. Uh, for 2019-20 is 22,000 pound and 2021 is 25,000 pound. So remember, the first payment on account that we have to send is during the tax year. So 1920 uh, during this year and the second one we have to send on 31st July and the third one uh, the uh, next year we have to send the balancing payment. For this tax year because 1819 there was no um, there was no profit or there is no uh, uh, figure here so we put zero zero and the total payable is 22,000. And for 2020-21, we have to pay the 50% of this one. The first ones, 50% of 22,000 is 11,000 and 50% of 22,000 is 11,000. And the balancing payment that we have to pay for 2021. So 2021 total payable to HMRC was 25,000. So 25,000 minus 22,000, because we have already paid 22,000, 11,000 plus 11,000, the remaining we have to pay is 3,000. But on 31st January, we have to, uh, January 2022, we have to one, make one more payment. And that payment is 50% of uh, this 25,000 pound. So that is 12,500. Uh, thank you very much. And if you have any question, uh, please uh, send me any question. So I will try my best to answer your question. And thank you very much.